Hi everyone, thank you for coming. Um, so <laughs> I, have to, I have to warn you, I am way beyond tired. I'm running on about three or four hours sleep. I tend to get a little bit just had a few gins. And I've had two gins, so <gasps> tonight shall be great. <laughs> so, and plus my daughter has had me over the weekend practicing with her, her public speaking. Imagine this. <laughs> it's what she does from one of her one of her public speaking things. Anyway, so um, we're just going to run through the five products that New Charity has, um, and obviously, as most of us are aware, we have a new lady here tonight. Um, all the products are actually did they have been designed to use together. So each product has been made from real science, and a lot of research and money has gone into each product to make sure that each product is unique. There is nothing out in the world that is like any of either of these products. They are all especially unique. Um, you'll actually notice a pattern in a lot of the ingredients as well as we work through each product. And when it comes to science, Nucerity really is on the cutting edge. So I've got products here tonight. If you haven't tried, <coughs> tested, smelled, felt all of them, I encourage you all to do so tonight as we work through it. Okay, so we'll start with, maybe we won't. Maybe we will. Okay, <laughs> let's start. <laughs> Skincerity. So it's created a new category in the beauty industry. It's called Barrier Repair Technology. It's the world's only cosmetic product with the breathable barrier technology that seals in your own natural moisture to deeply hydrate your skin. You roll it on at night before bed and after cleansing and moisturising, and this is when your body does its most, uh, or it's rejuvenating. You rinse it off in the morning for softer hydrating and healthier looking skin. So why is it important? So sun damage and loss of the body's natural moisture uh, are the two main reasons for the loss of moisture. Um, it happens at night mainly while we're rejuvenating, uh, which is what we call trans-epidermal water loss. So run to this slide. So this is a cross section of the skin. So the top layer, which is the reddish pinkish layer, um, is what we call the epidermis. And it is the protection <coughs> for all the deeper layers underneath. So the middle pink layer, the little light pink layer, is the dermis. And the bottom layer is what is called the subcutaneous fat. So the little yellow line running across the bottom and up through into all the other um, skin is actually the nerve. Um, and your hair is actually an extension of your nervous system. That's why when you pluck your eyebrows or pluck a hair out, that's why it hurts so much because you're actually pulling on the nerves at the same time. And you're pulling on the nerves and you're going to... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Oh. <laughs> so all those little nerve endings um, sitting under the top layer of the skin in the epidermis, you'll actually see the little, little yellow um, squiggly lines at the top of the epidermis there. So when we actually graze ourselves or we give ourselves a paper cut or anything, that's what hurts so much because there's tiny little nerve endings. And that's why it hurts so much. So the curvy red line under the epidermis, and I'll get up and show you, it's a bit hard to see. So this little curvy line through here, obviously it comes down through the hair, etc. It's called the mitosis. And this is where all the new baby skin cells hatch out and it takes about 90 days for them to work their way up to the surface where they become old and flake off. So this is the way the epidermis is meant to function. If this process is interrupted by, um, from a skin condition, the signals in the layers of the skin realise that there is a break in the barrier and the body's moisture could be lost. So it manages its own hydration pretty tightly. So if it senses that an area is damaged, it does, it slows the moisture to the area. It's not going to waste any of its own moisture on one area that continues to leak. It's kind of like a hole in a bucket. 
moisture leaks out and there's no longer being hydrated from within. So this is obviously a cross section of the epidermis layer. So when we roll skin serity on the top, obviously a lot of us have seen this picture, um, that is actually a, a wrinkle. It's actually holding in all the moisture, um, the moisture is rising to the surface. The yellow is obviously all the, our um, vitamin E and um, grapeseed oil, which is all being absorbed by the skin. So what it's actually signalling to do is, skin serity is actually tricking the skin to think that it's actually, the leak in the bucket has been repaired. So now it's going to refresh the area by pushing moisture into the area to reheal that, um, to re to heal that, that, that area. Um, and it obviously plumps up from within the skin. And this is obviously after it's been hydrated and you're left with healthy and hydrated skin. With so no wrinkles. With no wrinkles in fact. So each skin cell is not actually attached to each other. There is actually fluid around each cell, which is known as the extracellular fluid space around every cell. So I didn't quite understand this myself until I actually heard Pam talk about it. And I think this is why I've used some of her slides, because I just think the way she explains it makes it very, very simple and easy to understand. So, so look at it this way. The islands that we see are all of our cells. And the river is the fluid space surrounding all the cells. So the nutrients are brought um, are brought into the actual um, islands or cells, and the waste is then taken away by the river, um, and you're left with a healthy environment. Mm -hmm. Okay, take that away, obviously, and we're left with dehydrated, dry. This is what would happen if. The, there was a hole in the bucket. Correct, that's right. So opposed to this dry and damaged environment. So the ingredients. Um, there's three non-absorbed. Acetone, which is a pure acetone. Um, it was used because of two main reasons. It's the second most common solvent next to water. And it has a very high antibacterial action, 99.98%. And that is why the developers put it in the product. They needed something to keep it liquid in the bottle and kill the bacteria on the skin surface. Also, hence the rollable. It's an integral part um, of skin serity as it releases just the right amount of film that allows the acetone to still evaporate. And obviously, as it evaporates, it punctures the holes into the actual mask, um, microscopic obviously, and it actually turns into what is actually known as the semi-permeable membrane, which just means that it can breathe, but moisture or water can't escape. This is obviously, the semi-permeable membrane is the second ingredient. The third non-absorbed um, ingredient is the green apple fragrance. So they've used this as um, part of the bottle because there's actually more acetone in one apple than there is in one application of skin serity. So as we all know, our bodies produce acetone naturally as well in foods such as <coughs> broccoli, tomatoes and apples, just to name a few. If you actually go on and have a look, there are a lot of vegetables that have skin, uh, that have, um, skin serity in it. Acetone in it. <laughs> Totally, they got some zero. Yeah. <laughs> um, two absorbed ingredients, vitamin E and grapeseed oil. Okay. Hello, Mama. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, two absorbed ingredients, vitamin E, grapeseed oil. They're antioxidants. And we know from the medical trials it has a 0% toxicology an inner semi-permeable membrane, which means it is extremely safe for anybody to use. Someone's calling you. <laughs> Somebody's um, microphone. Oh. Is it toxicology or toxicology? Toxicology. toxicology. Yeah. It just means that it's non-toxic. Yeah. Mm. So why do we... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's not toxic. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> it's not harmful. <laughs> it's not going to hurt anybody. It's safe. Um, so why do we need antioxidants? Stress or inflammation that occurs in the extracellular fluid space is like an accident and a traffic jam. So if you think of it this way, we actually need something to come and clear it away. So our signaling system needs a well hydrated skin system in order to signal correctly. So skin serity hydrates the skin, clears the traffic jam as such, and allows the skin to function in a way that it should. I thought that was a really good analogy to explain to people what it is that it does. <laughs> well, you look what happens to your skin when you eat bad food, drink alcohol, um, in smoggy environment, your skin reacts because you've you've interrupted the process of your healthy skin. So <clears throat> that helps get back on track. Mm. But that's why we're also so lucky is the fact that it does regenerate. Yes. Mm. Most pretty much all situations can be reversed. Yeah. 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 So we're very lucky. Yeah, we yeah. are very lucky. Okay. Any questions about sincerity? No, no, cool. Okay, so the eye effects. So eye effects could be a standalone product as well as as the sincerity. It's as important. Um, you know, we need a specifically we need a product specifically for the eye area. Uh, it's so fragile. Um, dehydration, salty foods, and allergies create puffiness. Um, rubbing your eyes, um, you know, even when you get out of the shower and you rub your face and you get into your eyes, it's so damaging that it's uh, it's actually quite hard to repair that area. That's why when you see majority of women, especially, that area is what gives their age away. That particular area, that and the neck. So there's such tender, sensitive skin, you really need um, a specific product to combat all of those issues. So we have minimal oil glands there and lack of natural moisture. So that's why we always show tiredness there, De dehydration there as well. I know my daughter, she's only nine, if she's tired she gets really black under her eyes. So she's going to have to <coughs> be using eye effects pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about some of the ingredients in eye effects. So we got lycopene, which is the latest trend in all cell biology. Um, have demonstrated the importance of cell to cell communication. So we need something like the sincerity. We need our cells to communicate with each other to work together. Um, it regulates gap junction communication between cells. So when there is a problem like dehydration. Um, the cells aren't communicating, so it's really hard to get it back on track. So this heals all those communication cells, so they all start working t together. It smooths out wrinkles, fine lines, puffiness, and dark circles. The argiline, which is anti-aging and wrinkle preventative, uh, it naturally and safely relaxes facial muscles. It's a peptide that inhibits the reactions that causes muscles to move or contract. It's called nature's Botox, basically. That's why they say don't use it on the actual lids, because the lids have a different muscle structure or cell structure to the rest of the eye area. So if you do use it on your eyelids, you will actually find that in time you will have droopy lids. So don't use it there. Um, hyaluronic acid. It's one of the most powerful hydrating molecules ever discovered. Uh, it's a natural and vital water maintaining agent, so it holds that water in there. Uh, it reduces the appearance of fine lines and dark circles, plumps and firms the skin also. So we've got chamomile, decreases redness and acts to nourish and revitalise the skin. It's got a soothing herbal antioxidant with well-known antiseptic and anti-inflammatory agents. Witch hazel is an astringent, so you, you would have heard oh, back years and years ago, people used to buy witch hazel in a supermarket and that's what we used as a toner um, after cleansing our skin. So it's produced from leaves and bark. 
It's um, moisturising, it's anti-aging and anti-inflammatory as well. So you can sort of see a little bit of a pattern with all the ingredients in the products. They're moisturising, anti-aging, anti-inflammatory. It improves hydration, softness and elasticity of the skin. So the benefits of the IFX3 improves the skin structure, diminishes and prevents the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, decreases the appearance of puffiness, reduces the appearance of dark circles, restores hydration and delivers vital nourishment and also refreshes and lifts the area. Okay. Move on to peptide. Okay. So peptide plus is an ultra, -se ultra sheer anti-aging complex that delivers instant hydration and nutrition to help smooth and enhance the skin tone and reduce the visible signs of aging. Has everybody used the Peptide Plus? You haven't used it yet? Thanks. Um, it's really sheer and it's really light. Um, it's good for young skin through to mature skin, which I really like. So the ingredients, they call it Smart Nutrients. Again, it's got the high, hyaluronic acid, naturally found in body's connective tissues. It has a unique ability to hold water, so one litre of water to one gram. Uh, improves vital nourishment, absorption to help plump and firm the skin. It also has argillin, so for soft, for safer, it's a safer and inexpensive and non-invasive alternative to Botox. So if you go down this path, you can avoid the needle thing altogether. Um, so it causes facial muscles to relax, minimising the wrinkles. Restores. Uh, Restores skin resiliency. <laughs> Sorry, my writing is ridiculous. <laughs> it's just like this. <laughs> uh, so restores skin resiliency, tone and texture. It also uh, has shea butter. Shea butter? Shea butter? Shea butter. Assists in skin elasticity. Anti-inflammatory, again, it's an emollient and a humectant. So a humectant basically is a product that attracts moisture. So it attracts moisture from the environment. Instead of getting all the dirt and grease and gunk, it attracts the moisture. It also protects against UV damage. It has vitamin E, so it strengthens the skin's barrier function required for gene expression and cell signaling. So again, it's helping your cells communicate to each other to build a healthier, happier skin. Also has aloe vera, which helps facilitate natural exfoliation and cleans clogged pores to give you that healthy, natural looking glow. Anybody got any questions about those products? No? Um, one thing I just wanted to add to that, Dr. Anoop said at the, um, the Dallas conference in regards to peptides, um, the reason why Peptide Plus is such a huge um, leap in this industry and also what it actually has, what the ingredients actually in the moisturiser itself is pro <laughs> proteins are actually the building blocks of our bodies. So amino acids make peptides and peptides make protein and proteins are very important because it reproduces the collagen which is also a protein. So this is why peptide is actually reversing or turning back the clock of of our skin as such. Um, obviously, it's a it's a most important part of your skin. It's an amazing anti-aging complex that delivers instant hydration. So years ago, we were always told that um, products that tell you that going to boost your collagen was fake. Nothing can actually boost your collagen in your skin. But with the peptides working together like that, it can. It's, it, it actually, it, that's right. It doesn't it do it for you. It stimulates. It stimulates the... It's not putting collagen into your skin. Mm. It's stimulating the amino acids. That's right. Correct. It's basically, yeah, making the skin do what it, sh what it does. What it should when, do. What it should do when we're all... Because as, we, as we age, that, that process slows right down. So our skin isn't rejuvenating as fast as we would like. So, so it's just like that plus is really ideal, even if you are younger, to 
start helping it along. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't degenerate as much. As quickly. Life. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And then in combination with sincerity, it works even better. That's, That's right. right. Exactly. Any of these products, obviously, we use underneath sincerity is just amplifying it by 40%. We already know that that's what sincerity does. So yeah. using yeah. using all these products, yeah. the little yeah. the little spatula, yeah. little spatula underneath. Yeah. No, it's a little spatula yeah. underneath. Yeah. And that's the other thing um, with the little spatula is a lot of people who I've got a lot of people that freak out about creams mm. in a tub. Like, oh, they put your fingers in, bacteria, rah, rah. That's why the spatula is there. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it's good portion. Portion control. Mm. Yeah. And it's ideal like, yeah, to have that. It's a good measuring. Put it on the back of your hand yeah. as well, too. So. Mm. It's nice. I really like peptide. Mm. I love the peptide. I love how my skin feels. I just. I it, love it, especially in winter. It's the only moisturiser that I've found that actually doesn't make my skin yeah. feel very heavy, greasy. Yeah, it's oil free as well, oil free and fragrance free. Mm. And it's, and it's all like the you know the vitamin E and the aloe and the shea and all those components actually give it that fragrance. So and when I when, when I learned what the hyaluronic acid does, mm. it just was like, yeah. So it was entirely like, not so screenplay. <laughs> <laughs> it's that good. <laughs> okay. Rejuvenating barrier. This product alone. So Rejuvenating Barrier, this product alone was two years in the making. They wanted to make sure that this lotion, or this barrier, was unlike anything else. And it is like anything else. It is the world's only daytime water-based skin barrier that infuses, infuses, infuses nutrient and protects against artificial light to restore dull, dry skin to a natural radiant glow. So, <laughs> it smells really good too. Mm, I love the smell of it. It smells like honey. It targets rough, dry, and dull skin, um, visual fine lines and blotchy skin, environmentally exposed areas, um, high exposure to artificial light, so like your fluorescent and your halogen, and it's for all skin types and conditions. So, the benefits um, are the water based formula which is infused into the skin surface, can be used under makeup to increase hydration, uh, and it's a great primer. And a lot of primers are silicon based and contain a UV absorber or an SPF. Um, and that's probably the one thing that I love the most about. Obviously, there's still a few primers out there that I really, really like, but this is hands down my favourite. It smells awesome. It does smell oh, it smells great. Soft kind of feels sticky. Like a bit slimy. Like yeah. Kind of. Then you don't feel it. It's just on your hands. But I like the fact that I don't have to use as much makeup. Yeah. Um, and I use it on clients all the time when I'm doing makeup. And yeah. like, every time I put them up, oh, I like that. It's beautiful. Well, I can get some for you. Totally hook you up. I had a bath last night, put it on, I went, oh, as soon as I touched my face, I was like, it just feels silky. It's nice, yeah. It's just silky. It's very silky. I reckon it's got a honey soft smell. Yeah, I reckon it's honey too. Everyone's like, ooh, it's going to echo, it's like what's in it. But I reckon, I think it's the smell that you can relate it to. I was like, yeah, it's terrible honey soft. Yeah, I'm with you, I'm with the honey. Um, protects against free radical damage and perfect anti-aging aftershave for men. There's no sting because there's no fragrance in it. And it's hair retardant for men. Yes, hair yes. retardant. Fat is retarded. Yeah. Yes. Retarded. Retarded. Not retarded. <laughs> Not retarded. The men are retarded. It's very nice in your style as well. Yeah. Yeah. If and if you've got a yeah. you've got a skin issue yeah. and it might sting putting the skin on, you put the rejuve underneath it, it totally yeah. takes away that sting. I do that with uh, 
my tattoos as well. Because I find sometimes putting your body still one that it doesn't absorb quick enough so it can tear it out for a long time. Yeah. You really need to give it quite a, a while to yeah. um but the rejuvenating barrier you can pop that on and it absorbs quite quickly but you can tell yeah. the skin serve over the top very easily. With, with the baby with its um high uh, Yeah. And both both just say that way. So I always say it's wrong. <laughs> but yeah, it really helps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. awesome. yeah. You know what I was thinking? It's never like you kind of take stuff to get a dry cheese stuff. Yeah. One of these products would that be beneficial? You think you can use Rejuve or you can use body silk? Because mm. mm. you can put body yeah. silk all three in there yeah. anyway. Yeah, I don't treat the dry silk. Yes. Yeah. Mm. I even put a couple of times that you really want like a nice, intense, moisturizing treatment. Some body silk with conditioner. Mm. And then like, essential oils like luxury If you naturally get oily roots, you will. But if you want the dry stuff to be gone, do that and then you know wash it the next day. What you could do is night. put it in your hair, like massage it into your scalp, and then like even if you brush comb it through. Comb it through so you're giving that scalp some stimulation, sleep in it, wash it the next day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's really nice. So the combination of the three nature's most strongest natural elements are in rejuvenating barrier. So number one is lutein. The second is tree. Yeah, triolos. I can't. I, I must have jinxed you because yeah, I said that tonight. <laughs> and then sodium hyaluronate. So lutein. The lutein in this in this product actually comes from a company who has the purest, purest form of lutein. So, which I wasn't aware of until I actually heard Moni say that they, in the research they did, they've actually sourced it from a company that has the purest form of lutein. So lutein is a flower extract and a test over 12 weeks um, versus a placebo and this is a percentage of change in the actual skin phys physiology, physiology. Sorry, so the skin hydration increased by 40%. The skin elasticity increased by 21%. The skin lipid. Oh my God! I can't speak tonight. <laughs> I, I actually you can't read you. No, I, I actually know what it says, but I just can't spit it out. For oxidation, yeah. <laughs> Trying to spit that out, I couldn't do it. Um, actually decreased by 62%. Now, lipid peroxidation, yes. Um, <laughs> the reason why it's decreased, that's actually what we call as bad fats. So in our skin, we've got good fats and bad fats. So that decrease by 62% is a good thing. And then the breakdown, um, the superficial skin lipids actually were increased by 11% which is the healthy fats. So the breakdown of the fats in the skin and the cell walls in the skin, which is what the lipid peroxidation is, example like acne for example. So it's a water-based delivery system that instantly, I have no idea what I wrote there. <laughs> <laughs> oh Looks like I wrote wilds. This could have been at 2am. Two, two wilds into the system? Okay. Yeah. It wilds itself into the skin. Wells, wines, wines, <laughs> works, meals, no. wicks, a wick, wick is itself, wicks, Jesus, <laughs> I was pretty tired when I wrote this, <laughs> into the skin to produce a barrier that uh, is receptive for use with other, other products. So the results creates a soft, dewy, younger looking skin, restores a youthful, luminous glow, reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Now the tree, the tree hollows <laughs> um, is actually found in desert plants. So it resurrects the skin damaged by uh, heat, cold and dehydration. Um, it's a high water retention so it can hold over 100 times its own weight and actually prevents the disruption of the skin in uh, the internal cells. Uh, the natural lutein protects against artificial lights and use it day or night. Perfect for ladies, men, and all skin types, mm -hmm. and of course the hyaluronic acid, which is the ability to hold the moisture. And that's why it's yellow because the lutein is yellow. 
That's correct. It's that color. That's right. And even when you get to the bottom of the bottle, um, a lot of people commented that the color fades and turns clear. It still works. It's just the light that we that it reflects onto it. And a lot of people have commented that having it in direct sunlight all the time in your in your bathroom can actually take that yellow um, color away. But doesn't it's take away really from. It doesn't actually take away from. No, it's the all, actual, it feels the same mm, when it's going on. And it's just the same thing. Yep. Yeah. Mm. And last product, body silk. So like a spa treatment in a bottle. It's the pioneering barrier <coughs> serum. It instantly works face to toe or hair to heels, softens dry and exposed skin, relieves itchy, damaged skin, stops an ashy appearance and transforms rough, porous skin. I'm going to have to really concentrate. The writing's really bad. <laughs> Revolutionary face-to-toe barrier serum that deeply hydrates, softens and illuminates skin and hair with a luxurious mixture of essential oils and nutrients. It feels and smells luxurious the minute you apply it. No fragrance has been added because the unique blend of essential oils that calms and soothes all senses. So it seals in moisture, evens out the hills and valley skin texture, hydrates split ends and relieves itchy, dry skin, and it can be applied anywhere, external only. <laughs> <laughs> but still anywhere. Anywhere. As Dr. Anoop said, external only. <laughs> he had to he, he, he quite um, emphasise that at the uh, at the conference. Apparently there were some people out there that seemed to think of what this product does and how smooth and silky it is. We're thinking other things and we're going through bottles of it. It's so. not a lubricant. <laughs> 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 just put it out there. It's not quite smooth. Put it out there. Not for internal purposes. <laughs> There's other stuff for that. Soothes and calms extremely dry, chapped and sensitive skin and tames flyaways and frizz. So botanically enriched serum that protects against heat and damage caused by common styling tools used for blow drying, curling and straightening. It does not cause any breakage or dryness to the hair texture. Safe for all skin types, restores luster and shine to darker pigmented skin. So the ingredients. Um, the acai fruit oil, it's the key source of essential fatty acids like the omega-6 and omega-9 that deeply hydrate the skin and hair. It is high in vitamins and minerals. For example, the, some of the vitamins and minerals are vitamin C, B1, B2, B3, iron, potassium and calcium just to name a few. The argan oil from the argan tree kernels found in Morocco, it provides extreme conditioning properties that are great for hair, nails, and skin. I have actually started, I get really dry cuticles around mm. my, and I get nice. into a bad habit where you pick the, I pick, I pick and yeah. I clear the side of my fingers and I found body silk every morning, every night, and rubbing it in, I haven't had it's any issues. Oil. Mm. Awesome, better. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Really yep. Um, Trigonella phonum grayson is a seed extract, and it's a natural humectant that forms a protective film on the skin to help hold moisture. And as you said before, the humectant is holds in water. It actually draws water in, so it actually attracts water. So one thing about um, this is probably one thing I actually forgot about the reduce barrier. With the reduce barrier, you can actually what they call reactivate it. So if you have it under your makeup, you put your makeup on during the day, if you're feeling like you might feel like a little bit dry or a little bit dehydrated, uh, a gentle like little mist spray or something um, is a spritz. Little spritz, there's plenty of them out on the market. One or two spritzes on the face actually reactivates um, both body silk and also reduce barrier, and it will you'll actually feel an instant heat hydration. And I actually tried it today, <laughs> and yeah, 
It's gear. It's gear. <laughs> Um, the aloe, which soothes, cools and calms inflamed skin while facilitating the skin's natural progress process of exfoliation to reveal brighter, younger-looking skin. Um, aloe is obviously good for cuts and burns. I don't know about you, but when I grew up, mum and dad had huge aloe vera plant out the back. Um, yeah. My parents still have some. If anybody ever wants some aloe vera plant, let me know. I'll get some uh, set up for you. Yeah. No, that was my a household gift from my mum and dad was a pot plant with aloe vera. They're actually good to just chuck in randomly through the yeah. gardens because yeah. they're really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And I have to admit, I, when I, um, this was a few years ago, I got sunburned out um, camping once and I my back was so red raw. And as I was walking up to go and have a shower, they've had all these aloe vera plants on walking along, snapping off all these little branches <laughs> and putting it in a little plastic bag to put in the fridge that we had. So then I just cracked it open and just rubbed it cold all over my back. Instant smooth. Instant smooth. <laughs> Instant <laughs> relief. Oh, um, Speaking of English lady. Oh, my English is awesome tonight. Um, aloe obviously is the key amino acid for the skin and the body as well. Uh, the chamomile, soothing, anti-inflammatory, calms the skin, nourishes and revitalizes. And obviously there's lots of other essential oils. Some of the main ones are the rosemary leaf and basil oil, which tones and cleanses while enhancing the luster of dull-looking skin. Eucalyptus oil, which energizes circulation and produces a minty, fresh scent. And orange fruit extract, which is vitamin C and other enhancements. So they recommend that you apply after, straight after a bath or shower um, for maximum hydration. Um, and a little bit goes a long way. Like I, one squirt, rub it in, warm it up, yeah. will do pretty much half my body. Um, yeah, don't I'm, put too much on and then go try and grab your cup. <laughs> 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 you can't grip your steering wheel. Yeah, like, I love the steering wheel, it was really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, but all, yeah. Rub, rub your hands together after putting it onto your hands and just warm up the serum before applying it because even though it doesn't feel like you've got it on or you're rubbing it in and you want to apply more, you don't need it. So a bottle that size and I use it um, morning and night whenever I have a shower um, and sometimes during the day I've got a little bottle that I carry with me. That one bottle will last me two to three months. Mine lasts me ages. Mm. Yeah. I use quite a bit of it in my hair. Yeah, it's got a lot of hair. Mm. <clears throat> and that's it. Any more questions? Anything you want me to go over? Re-explain? Write it down? I missed the eye cream because Kim 